In 2007, Valve released Portal as part of the Orange Box Bundle, which included Team Fortress 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. And aside from the console ports, it was mainly intended to run on computers running Windows XP or even Windows Vista. However, that all changed in May 26, 2010 when it got ported to Mac OS X. Three years later, a port came out for Linux. And as you may all know, there was more care for the Linux port, especially with the Steam Deck and the rise of Proton. And that makes sense because Linux is becoming a rising popular gaming OS while gaming on Mac OS pretty much lagged, which hopefully may change with the rise of Apple Silicon in the introduction of Game Porting Toolkit, which hopefully will encourage more development on this platform. However, in the meantime, well, the builds of Half-Life 2 and Portal released on Steam do not work with the current version of Mac. That is because they still use the 32-bit APIs, which has been deprecated and removed in Catalina. And what that means is that the latest Mac that can play this is the ones that run Mojave. So the old Intel Macs can play this game really well with the official port. The good news for Apple Silicon Macs is that there's this guy named Niller User who have created a GitHub repository that ports the source engine code to Apple Silicon and the more powerful iterations of the Raspberry Pi and some ARM-based devices that can run Linux and has good OpenGL support. But in this video, we'll just be focusing on the Apple Silicon Mac. So here is how to install it. So first, you go to Steam and you download Half-Life 2, its episodes, Half-Life Source, and Portal, just as you would on any other computer. While it only supports Mojave, Steam will let you download those games anyways. However, it is recommended that you install it to your main SSD of your Mac, otherwise the script I'll show later in the video might not work. You go to the link in the description below, and there I will post a GitHub gist, and in that GitHub gist, it has a script that will clone the GitHub repository, and then it will configure and build the files for Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, Half-Life Source, and Portal. So just go to the GitHub gist, copy the entire script, and then you want to open up a terminal, whether it be the macOS one or iTerm2, doesn't matter. Just go in there, type nano build.sh and hit enter. Next, you want to paste that script in there by hitting command V, and then hit control W, hit enter, then control X. After that, type in chmod space plus lowercase x build.sh and then hit enter. Before you run the script, you need to make sure that you have Homebrew installed. What Homebrew does is that it downloads the required libraries that are needed to build this project. If you don't have that, be sure to go to brew.sh to have that installed before you run the script. Otherwise, type dot slash build.sh then hit enter. I will post all the commands in the description below, so if you typed all those correctly, it should build all those files and then it will automatically patch those games if you installed it to the main SSD of your Mac. And then launch the game, go to its video settings, turn the resolution up to its native resolution, then go to advanced video options, and then set all the video options to the max. However, you might want to turn off color correction because there is a glitch that will make it look like it's on acid, you know, it's it's it looks bizarre. So unless you like it that way, you might want to turn that off to get the best intended result. Hopefully they'll be fixed later, but right now it's not working correctly. And then if you're savvy and want to download mods for it, you can do so as you would on a Windows PC through ModDB and then paste it to the source mods folder which will be found in the Steam library folder which is under your user directory slash library slash application support. Then restart Steam as you would on your Windows PC and your mods will show up there. That means you can play not only just Half-Life and Portal, you can play Blue Portals, Portal Pro, Blue Portals, Gamma Energy, 
Factum Solace, and many more mods. However, there is one mod that I'm aware of called Shell's Way to Home, which is some weird Russian mod. That might not work because I think it ships with DLLs that might not work with the Mac port, especially the one that you just built. But other than that, you can play your custom portal maps and mods just as you would on your Windows PC. So I hope you have fun thinking with portals on your Apple Silicon Mac. Move your body through the Aperture Science 1500 MW Mortality Sensitive Sensor to activate the door. Technically, anything which has the ability to die can activate the sensors, but for the sake of the testing environment, you are the only potentially killable thing in a 30 mile radius. again. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. <laughs> 